Hi, I'm Ollie from 4 Ruby Volvo, and here we have the brand new EX30 outside our lovely de dealership here in Stourbridge. So, with the EX30, it starts from £33,000, goes up to £44,000, and you have a range of different motor options uh, and battery sizes, which is important for the electric cars and getting the most out of them. So the single motor uh, standard battery has a range of up to 230 miles. The single motor extended range has up to 298 miles. So if you're a customer after the most amount of range possible from one of these cars, that is the one to go for. And you also have a twin motor performance model, which has a range of up to 276 miles on the battery. A few features I like about the exterior of this car um, is the light design. So obviously you've got the four hammer headlights incorporated into this car in a very different way to standard Volvos. And you even have the, the Volvo badge on the, outside of the, uh, on the outside of the light there. The car is also incredibly aerodynamic, including ports down the side, which feeds air along the side of the car and along the side of the wheels. So again, all going back to that efficiency of the car, uh, it is really good and excellent. Uh, another big difference in this design of the car is actually unlocking it. So you actually get a NFC card to unlock the car, which is a bit different, but it's simply like uh, paying for something in contactless. So you come to the car, tap the button, and as you can see, the car opens up. So you get two of these with the cars, but you can also have the ability to add, add the car to your phone and open the car up with your phone. So even if your phone dies, you can still open the car up to 10 times before the battery completely dies, which is actually a really handy feature. So here inside the EX30, it's a lovely place to be. We've got a nice contrasting blue and black with this indigo interior. The biggest design change really is a lack of speedometer. So it all goes over to the main screen, which is uh, the biggest screen we do in any Volvo at 12 inches. And the speed is at the top right hand side um, corner of the screen. It takes a quick glance to get over to look at this and it's not really a big issue from my part. Um, if you go to the speed limit, there is audible warnings. So you always know if you're going too fast. So you don't need to check over so much. The screen is also very familiar. If you've drove a Volvo before, because you do have Google Maps on here. Um, it's all Google infotainment system. Uh, so you can use the Hey Google function to control most of the car's features. You also have the pilot assist button and also a customizable button just on the steering wheel. So you can turn your one pedal drive off and on. If you drove an electric car before, that is a really handy feature. You've also got the gear stick on the right hand side, which is a departure than current Volvo's today. Um, but honestly, it's not a hassle to use. It's just an up and down to change between reverse and drive. A few things I like about the interior of the X30 is how the use of space. So you've got loads of space down in the center of the car for phones and other items. Where the cup holders are, which are in the center, and they just simply pop out. The door bins are a fairly decent size for a small SUV. And that's because they've taken the speakers out of the doors and put them up into the Harman Kardon soundbar. Uh, this has 3D surround sound by Quantum Logic, and it sounds excellent when you're connecting your phone or playing your own music. If you'd like to view one of the EX30s we have here at Starbridge, we have four available with the cloud blue featuring in our showroom. Um, this one will be outside for you to have a look round, but if you want to have a proper look inside, feel free to come down to us or call in in advance. All of the information is down below.